Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, it's gonna be a switch up. We're not gonna do any Final Fantasy. We are going to do a top five upcoming animes that I am looking forward to in fall 2021. But before we go ahead and get into that, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Make sure to thumbs up the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below what animes you were looking forward to in 2021. And with all that being said and done, let's go ahead and get right into the video. And welcome to the video. And in the usual fashion, we're going to start with number five. Number five anime that I'm looking forward to in 2021 a fall is The Faraway Paladin. Why? Because, hey, as somebody that loves playing tank in Final Fantasy, why would I not watch something about a paladin? It's that simple. Obviously, this anime is going to be something I think will be a sleeper hit of 2021. Which is saying something because it does have one big anime that we all know is coming this fall. With that being said, The Faraway Paladin is my number five. Now on to number four. And number four is not going to be an anime series. It's going to be a movie. And of course it is the Sword Art Online progressive movie. And the main reason I have this as only number four is I'm not the biggest Sword Art Online fan. Sure, it's hit and miss on some seasons. Like, its most recent season was not bad. Towards the end, it got a little sloppy. But with progressive going all the way back to the beginning and telling it from Asuna's point of view, I think this one has a chance, even though it's a movie, to rewrite some of the wrongs that the first season did. So, my thing is, Sword Art Online tends to go a little overboard towards the second half of the season. Hopefully in this movie, they don't do that, and this movie comes out perfect. But with all that being said, number four is Sword Art Online Progressive The Movie. <clears throat> and now into our top three. And for my third pick, it's going to be 86 Part 2. And the main reason 86 Part 2 is number three is I loved Season 1. I thought the Season 1 left me on the suspense of my seat. I loved every bit of it. I know some people not the biggest fan of it. I loved Season 1. And I hope Season 2 will carry on the story and tell it in a way much like Season 1 did. I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, it's going to be the greatest in Fall 2021. But I have high hopes for the season, and I'm really hoping they do not let it go. So, it will be our number three pick for this season of anime. And, I mean, there's not much to say about it. Just go and watch season one on Crunchyroll. You will love it. This anime is good. Just go watch it. Then, look forward to season or part two. I've already seen the first episode of it, and it's got me on the edge of my seat. Now on to number two. Number two. And yes, it's the big boy everybody loves. It is Demon Slayer. Now, the main reason it's number two is because really the arc we're getting in fall is pretty much just retelling the Mugen Train, but adding stuff that we weren't able to see in the movie. So, it's not going to be my number one because... It's already something I've pretty much seen. We're just getting some more backstory to it, and I really do appreciate that. But we all know, come winter, we're going to get season two, the entertainment arc, which I think will be way better than this arc. I think the Mugen arc is going to be solid, but I think the main purpose of it is just to kind of connect the first season and the... Uh, Mugen Train movie, better. Because it's only going to be seven episodes. So it's not going to be like, wowza. Like, obviously, it, it's already got an end time of November 21st. So we know, boom, it's done. But then December 5th rolls around. Boom, now we got the entertainment arc. Boom, now we're going to have some. So my number two is Demon Slayer, Mugen Train arc. Be sure to watch it. It's going to give some backstory. I know everybody, there's going to be so many things on Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, everything, they're going to love it. They're going to eat it up, and they're not going to say anything about it. Because Demon Slayer is a solid anime, 
And with that being said, that is why it's my number two. And now on to my number one spot. And I cannot rave how much I am ready for this movie. We have a lot of good anime movies coming in this fall. And there is no way I'm going to miss Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. One, Jujutsu Kaisen, the first season was a bang. And this is going to be a prequel to that? Oh, and you already know, I have all the up-to-date manga Jujutsu Kaisen. That is my show that I rep hard. I love everything about this show. It is wonderful. I love the manga. Great. Jujutsu Kaisen is my number one, hands down, banger of this season. There is no way anything in the prior of this list will surpass this movie. This movie will hands down, I guarantee it breaks the box office of Demon Slayer. It's going to smash that record out of the park. I mean, I don't even really have to say much for it. It's Jujutsu Kaisen. You love the first season. It's probably hands down my favorite anime to almost date. I find it hard to replace Cowboy Bebop because that is like my OG favorite. But... It's up there. It's up there with the greats, and it's only had one season. But with all that raving about Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie, is my number one. It is my number one pick for fall 2021. And with all that being said, that was my top five upcoming animes of fall 2021. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you liked any of this video or agreed with any of it, smash that subscribe button hit that like button share the video and also leave a comment down below on what animes you were looking forward to in fall 21 and that's it that's it thank you for watching the video peace keep it easy have a good day and see you in the next one